Okay, welcome back to our tutorial series. Today we are going to talk a little bit about custom legendary battles. Um, so before our setup here with Kyogre, we had just a regular um, old, you know, wild encounter that would trigger. And it would trigger in a, you know, like an ugly background that we didn't care about because it was just the automatic trigger for the wild encounter on this uh, on these tiles. So instead we want to trigger the actual Kyogre battle scene or potentially we might want to trigger you know our own custom battle scene. Um, this is how the game handles its legendary battles and we're going to talk about it just a little bit. It's not that complicated. Um, so here we go. So the main thing that we are going to do is we are changing the do wild battle do wild battle is the macro that we ran to trigger the wild battle after we set it up. First we have to set up the wild battle and then we do wild battle. Um, if you remember from our wild encounters video. Um, but here instead of do wild battle we're using this special. And that's all we really need to do assuming our legendary is already in the list of uh, in the list of legendaries that are in this that are handled by this special if they're not though we have to add them ourselves which i'll go into in a second um but th th this is as simple as it is we just set up the wild battle we give it the species the the you know the level the item that we want it to hold same as we would a regular wild encounter triggered by a script now this special here is uh going to be in the here battle setup c in the source folder um, and you know it's called battle setup start legendary battle and when we jump into the code pretty much what you will notice is that uh, I'm here some stuff that is talking about how the engine handles the scripts and the callbacks for them um, but here is the main logic here is the switch statement um, and it takes the species that we set the wild battle for and it handles it sets specific things it sets a it creates a battle task depending on the species so as you see here for kyogre which is the one we have it's going to set this flag that's going to say battle type kyogre which is some code that the game has specifically to run for that for kyogre and then it's going to create a battle start task transition kyogre um, battle transition Kyogre with the music for Kyogre and Groudon. Um, well, for yeah. So anyway, um, if we wanted to create our own, we would add our own case. Case species uh, Jirachi. And then we could um, create a task here. And this battle transition blur um, is already a... Uh, you know, it's not one that's specific to Kyogre or Groudon or Rayquaza, but it's one that we can use. Um, and we can use just this regular versus a legendary um, music if we want. You know, you can use any music. You could use the Kyogre Groudon music if you wanted. And then we can now have a, um, a battle setup for Jirachi. It doesn't have anything special. It doesn't have these flags that are set up specifically for Groudon and Kyogre and Rayquaza that do some special things for the setup. Um, and if you want to look into how those work, you can... Um, of course, keep going down on the list of things when we're setting flags, you can search for these um, in the code and find the code that makes them work. Um, but if you just want to set up your own, you know, battle with a custom transition, we can create a battle start task uh, in this case statement. And uh, it shows us how that how we can do that. Here are some of our battle transitions that we can use um, if you want to call your own battle transition. It's in source battle transition.c. You can call these battle transitions um, inside of this uh, inside of this case statement that you make for your legendary and then call this special battle start legendary battle after you set a wild battle to um, have your own custom battle set up. Um, and that's pretty much it for the code. We're going to take just a quick look at how it actually looks um, when we do this. So here is our setup. We're going to step forward. It's going to shake. Kyogre's going to move forward. It's going to shake. Kyogre's going to move forward. And then it's going to trigger the special battle. Now you're going to notice all this stuff happening. This is now the special legendary battle. Um, and, you know, all of this isn't going to be as interesting if you're creating, if you use the basic Jirachi one that I made. Um, but obviously, um, this is the Kyogre setup and it's pretty cool so it's much better looking than we had set up before and I got destroyed apparently um, but anyway 
of that is setting up legendary battles. So the main thing that you want to look at is this start legendary battle um, battle setup script and it handles the different legendary battles. You know you can add non-legendary battles to this if you want but I'd probably recommend creating a new one but it doesn't really matter um, if you want to have a whole bunch of different custom uh, you know battle intros for your different overworld encounters when you have Pokemon set up that you can walk up and click on to. Um, you know, lots of people want to add every single, you know, if you're making an Emerald hack, you want to add to be able to get Deoxys and, and uh, Jirachi and Mew and Ho-Oh, and you're probably going to want to create a custom battle intro for each of them. So this is where you'll go to get started with that. Um, now that's going to be all for this video. If you have any questions about this, make sure to leave a comment here or in the Discord. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one.